Hi, I'm Sean. I'm a demonstrator here in the Print Media Center Atlanta, and today we're going to look at our new Auto Pallet Loader 106 in operation. So first, I'm going to unlock the doors and open it up to give you a look. So here what you can see is the inside of the auto pallet loader. With this configuration, we have one pallet and one cassette. The pallet can hold up to 1200 12 mil plates. The cassette can hold up to 100 12 mil plates. Let's take a look at how this will operate. Yes, plates still can be manually loaded in the supersetter with the APL attached. We we'll simply lift the bridge out of the way. With that bridge out of the way, the manual feed is open to the supersetter. Yes, the APL is as fast as the supersetter. Our fastest supersetter right now is 55 plates per hour, which the auto pallet loader can keep up with. Yes, any supersetter that was built and released from November 2012 and till now is configurable with the auto pallet loader. So the smallest plate that the auto pallet loader can handle in the pallet is 605 millimeters or 605 millimeters by 745 millimeters. That's our Speedmaster 74 size. But the cassette can actually hold quite a bit of smaller plate. 400 millimeters by 600 millimeters in the portrait format. If you need to load from two pallets, we can actually extend this auto pallet loader out with an extension module. All we simply do is take that back section and add one onto it. Well, with this example, what we're showing you here is one pallet with one cassette. The auto pallet loader is expandable to two pallets plus the option of one or two cassettes. So in the APL itself, you can have up to four different format sizes. But if you add the dual cassette loader, you can have those additional two cassettes as well, plus the manual input. So if you think about it, you can have six plus uh, sizes ready to go with the manual feed as well. So the slip sheets are automatically removed as part of the load process. The slip sheets are taken down into the waste bin here. So now I'll show you how that's removed. So now you'll see the cassette being moved out of the way and into the park position. And once that's done, the suck bar will move down into position to pull the plate off the pallet. You can see that as the suck bar comes down, the slip sheet and the plate are both grabbed 
by the same bar. Thanks for watching, and for more information, email us at info at heidelberg.com.